Yes, yes, yo, going in big on today's tutorial on how to draw this little salmon right here. If you want to know how to do so, stick around because I'll be telling you how to do it now. For this character, similar to everything else, we start with a base shape. So here I'm going to draw really loosely, keep your pencil super loose, um, this sort of shape. So it's a circle at the top and it triangles inwards. Then from here we're going to draw a centre line, so we're going to put it all the way across. And this will give us a good indication of where we're going to start to put the features. The first feature we're going to work on is the eyes. So for eyes, just put a dot for now, one eye, two eye, and that just gives us a rough place of where we're going to put the two features. Uh, and then for the eyes, I'm just going to do two circles around them. Don't worry if it's not making a lot of sense just yet because it comes together, it's just a process of building shapes. So there's one circle and then here's a second circle on the back. Um, with, with a lot of samurais, obviously it's going to be a build-up of armour. If you don't know what armour you want to put on, you can literally go on Pinterest and have a look at different armours that will look good on, um, on your character. But once the eyes are in place, um, I'm just going to draw some more circles around to give it depth, like so. Now for the nose, I'm going to do having a mask on, and the basis of the mask is from a Hanya, so it's kind of like um, like a monster. And for that, you want to draw a small triangle like this for the nose, and the line's going to come around the eye. So you've got to imagine the cheekbones are here, the arm of the mouth is coming around over the nose, and the same on this side here. Just like that. To this point where the ear would be, but the ear is obviously going to be under the armour. So we can put them in for now just to give it an indication um, of where the ears would actually be if we were going to draw them in. Next step is put the nostril. So you've got a small little C on this side. This side you're not going to see it, so you can sort of put it finish the nose off and just put it across like that. Bring this up a little bit, adjust it as you go. And as for the mouth of a Hanya, it's, it's, it's quite uh, wobbly I'd say. So the front, the front is this front plate. So you're gonna draw a line following the same nose shape. And then it's gonna come up and across and up in the mouth here. So up, down, cross, jagged. And the thing with the Hanya that really makes it like a Hanya is the teeth that come shooting off the side. So like the Tiger tutorial we just dropped yesterday, these big teeth coming out the side. And that gives you an indication now of what this side's gonna look like and then we're just gonna do another little tick, like so. And because it's metal, this is gonna have a plate, so you're gonna actually see the front of the plate there. And you should end up with something that looks just <coughs> like that for now. It's really rough. Don't worry, because we're going to keep building up the shapes. Where the top is quite topsy-turny, the bottom is also the same. So it comes in, but then a hand your mask would come down. Like that. This is kind of cartoony right now, but um, we keep going and building up. And you can add more realism to it in a sec. From this side, we're going to come in again. Behind the tooth. And then you're going to see the front of the mask here. With this mask, I'm going to draw the armour. So here I'm going to draw two lines here that just tells you where the middle of the chin is. And then work my way right around this side. Following this line initially. And similar to that side here. To end up with something like that. With the mouth, where it comes off, we're going to accentuate that again by doing the same shape. So where it takes off like here, I'm doing the same shape just like this. And that's just the foundation of a Hanya mask on the front view. Like so. I'm going to add a few more teeth in to make him look really uh, sort of warrior-esque. Two. And then the same with the bottom here. Other teeth. And all the armour effects, I'm going to make it look more armoury in a when it comes to the shading part, 
for now I'm just looking to put in the shape so it looks um, how I want it to look. Once that's in place, I'm then going to look for the armour on the head. So for this, I'm going to have a peak. So here I'm just going to draw a line from this, this side to here. Because it's facing the audience, the line's coming upwards, like that. And now the peak of the hat is going to come forward and put the eyes under shadow. Now once that's in place, you can start seeing it come together now. It looks quite cartoony, but we can change that as we go. But unless you want it to look cartoony, then um, keep pushing towards that style. But we can make it look a bit more, a bit more dangerous and in depth, I think. The thing that's making it look quite cartoony is the fact that I've left the circles completely round. So if you want to, cut the eyes down with an eye eyelash. So like one there, and the same with this side here. And then keep building up some lines around the eyes. So you end up with something just like this. Put a scar in the eye if you want to. Just add a bit of flavour. And now we can build from here. Also the ears aren't going to be in place, but depending on how you want to do the armour, here I'm going to do two circles on each side to mirror each, each side of the helmet. And with the samurais they have normally this giant horn thingy. So here I'm going to draw this triangle shape. A lot of this is just armour and clothing, so a lot of this can be completely interpreted into your own style. But then I'm going to do a line like so, of the moon, and follow on the other side. And again, I'm following it, but this time I'm going to come out as I go. And at the end, I'm going to curve it. Boom. Same this side here. Come out. Come out, and then curve it. Curve it in. And then you end up with this sort of shape, like so. That's just the front horn of the helmet. Like so. From here, the back of the head will come here, so draw a line from the initial shape. And here I'm just going to draw more armour. So I'm just drawing a line like that, curving into the back, and then bringing it forward, like so. And then here I can just build on and put the back of the head in. Following that first line we put in place that we built upon. Here I'm going to add some sort of loose shapes because it's all quite stiff. Um, here I'm just going to add some sort of hair. So from here, just keep your pencil real loose and basically what I'm trying to do is keep a loose shape like this. The looser the better here. No details as you can see, but just putting in shapes. Let the pencil do the work. Look how jagged it is, there's no detail. Be really free with your line work. Just like so. Make a small adjustment here, I'm just going to bring it in a bit more. Leave this out though. And here, just going to connect the line and put in some plates of armour. These small rectangles coming downwards. So I get to about three down. And then similar to this side here. One, two, and three. Here I want to add some sort of rope underneath, so just going to draw lines coming to the centre of the mouth, you're not going to see the bow completely, so these small two lines coming in, and underneath would be a bow, tying up the helmet to the head. Now, completely depends on you because it's armour, say you might have your own brand or your own sort of colour palette you like to use. Um, you can then just add upon the initial shapes you've got in place here. So just do another second line up here. You can then add a logo, let's say a logo up on there here somewhere. Let's just, um, oh no, let's spend S for now. 
If you are lost for ideas on how you want the arm to look, obviously you can use the internet or resources to have a look how other artists have done it. At the end of the day, with the armor, um, there's no actual solid um, technique per se. It's just building up and using your imagination to create um, armor. But this is the basic ways of how I break it down and build up upon things. Okay, once the head is in place, he looks cool. Um, next, I want to put the, the arms in place. So here, we're doing like with the sword, like jaggering it in. So we draw two rectangles for the hands. Once again, there's a full tutorial on hands if you can't draw good hands. So check that out on my video. And for the swords, let's just draw lines for now. Keep it easy for you guys. So sword one, as you can see, and then we have, let's do them having dual swords. Dual swords, so another rectangle here. Well, a rectangle squished looking starburst shape. And another line, two there. So it's gonna get a lot bigger than I initially thought it would be, but um, I'm just trying to show you guys the process. Now we've got them in place, we can just do the forearms. So the forearm will come back. This forearm is gonna come back as well. Forearm one. Forearm two. And then it's gonna come into the body. Like that. Right now I'm just trying to get the body shape in place because I'm, I'm not adding any of the armor in just yet. So once you've got a good little body position in place, then it just becomes another point of adding armor on these basic shapes. So the forearm, we can just add a massive shield. And although I put the swords in place, I'm not worried about them just yet. I'm just sort of building up on the, on the armor. So here when we're using this first tube shape, So there's like one shape here for armor, and then it can sort of wrap around the forearm. And then we're gonna have some, some sort of cloth breaking off here. Maybe he's been in war. Um, once, once again, a lot of the details, there's no point in being too specific because it's whatever you want to add to it now. It's like character, character customization on like Xbox. But then you wanna pick your, same, because there's just so many different variations of samurai. So you could even not even have a helmet at this point. Here, some protectors for the hands, so his hands don't get chopped off. Then you can start adding another emblem here if you wanted to. Leave the fingers on. For the sword, the initial line you put in place. I'm following that here until you get happy with the size of it, depending on the source of the sword as well. So there's one line. And then I draw another line underneath it. And at the very end, I'm just turning it up. Create one sword and the handle. Handle again is the same, just small rectangle. And add the add the cloth on there for now. But then this sword's coming back, so we want to follow that around. But because it's going to the background, as we're following that initial line, we want to close it off a tiny bit towards the back and finish it off. Same again, this side. Keep your lines loose for now, don't worry about too much details. Just look for where you want to place things and build from there. Here we want to have the armor coming down and then extend off the arm. And then do these oval shapes, just give it a three dimensional look. Keeping it loose, it's really messy right now, um, but keep the messy lines going because later on is the time you can tidy it up with the darker lines. And if you've seen my tutorials, you know that that's normally the way it goes. Right now, you just want to get a good idea, a good concept of things. Like right now, you want to add a flag behind him, a samurai flag. I don't really know the reason why samurais have these. I think it's just to represent their clan or whatever. Um, so here, just two, again, rectangles and a cloth coming behind. Another big rectangle, Yoshimitsu style. 
and whatever your graffiti name is, you could have the letters here. Um, you can put anything here, really. Design again. I feel like with a samurai, it's so specific. There's not a, it's not like a frog where it's like that's a frog. It's a samurai could be a hundred different designs. Look, here's a flag, and then like let's just cut into it. You see, I could literally take this design right now and change it completely with a few alterations, make the mouth more jagged because I want the armor to look that way. So it gives you a lot of creative freedom completely on how you want to look or where you want, what direction you want to take it in. Okay, now we're gonna start putting on some more armor on the front here. So here I'm following it around like the body and then I'm gonna have a plate at the front and then some more strings coming off here, loose with the wind. And then just more rectangles coming down the body here. Like so. Uh, maybe give them a massive belt. Very loose. Keeping your lines loose for now, you're not paying too much detail. Um, and that this will be the basics of your samurai. Just like so. Let me see if you can see that on camera. Yeah, perfect. Um, this is obviously one pose, and, uh, and the thing I'm stressing the most here is a lot of the elements you'll have to come up with yourself because you could make this anything you wanted to. Change the color, add more pads, you could add more protection, you could start adding some like organic kind of shapes, like wings and stuff to him um, to make him more like Neon Tokyo. There really is a lot, a lot of things you can do with it because it's, it's armor, so it's just your mind to see how much you want to put on or take off. So you just want to figure out things yourself and go with it. Like even like right now, you just say, okay, that's cool, finish there. Um, okay, he, he could be in war, let's say. Okay, so then you start putting arrows in him, like this. One arrow here in his armor. You have to obviously use a bit of your imagination yourself. Add another arrow here, a broken arrow. Um, if you really want to be creative, you can start thinking of a few background elements. Oh, what about the things that hold the sword, you see? And then add the sword holder in, one here. And you can draw some ropes here, getting loose, some loose lines, and two here. And that's what I'm trying to say, is you add to it. Treat it like a computer game, like, you just start with a default character, which is the, the face, and you build up until you're happy with it. And then you can just add little, little squares here and there, coming off, a few scratches, like so. Blood stains on the sword, just some loose lines like that. Dripping off maybe. Things coming off the end of the sword, emblems. It's honestly endless. Um, and you can just keep building up and building up until you finally get to a happy place with it. Um, and once you are happy with the sketch lines, you know what we do around here. You just wanna go through the whole thing, add some more teeth if you want to. Um, keep building on things you want to build on and then you want to start taking and darkening up areas. Um, I tie the darkest, the darkening up bit but basically what I'm doing is getting in there with the pen and adding extra details upon the foundation which we laid on here. There we have it ladies and gentlemen, that is how you can draw a samurai yourself at home. Um, once you've darkened up all the areas and kept the bits, you will end up with something that looks just like this. So that's it everybody, anything you guys want to see next, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section. Before I tune out, I need to say thank you to all the Patreons, 
Honestly, these Patreons are the people who enable me the time to create free content for the whole world to share, and that's massive. Like, no, there's a lot of people that you can't afford learning resources um, or any good learning resources. So thank you so much, Patreons, because you are bringing this content to the forefront of YouTube for people to uh, learn from and just enjoy and pick up a few techniques. So yeah, um, thank you all for tuning in. Till next time, stay well, keep creating, and peace. Peace, peace, peace.